Hey everyone, welcome to episode 43 of Let's Play Legend of Star Wars The Complete Saga. In the last episode, we collected all the mini kits in episode 5, the Empire Strikes Back levels. And yep, that was a pretty long video, 47 minutes, quite long. Alright, in this episode we'll be officially, finally, complete the last of the mini kits. In episode 6, Return Jedi, the last episode of the game. So, we'll be done, so we're we'll be done collecting mini kits. I know, we're like, we're like doing the same thing. Five episodes in a row. Isn't that crazy? But don't you worry, we're gonna do something different in the next episode, so don't worry, guys. I know you're, getting, I know you're starting to get tired of this. But we're gonna, well, we're gonna finish off collecting mini kits. So, Let's let's start off in the first level of, ep of episode six, Jabba's Palace. All right, the first mini kit. You want to? All right, get your J already. <laughs> start low. Anyways, um, you want to break this uh, black pieces and gravel your way up, and then get on this platform and get on this platform. There you go. That's the first mini kit. And you can build this so you can get back over here. Anyways, the next mini kit is right up here. It's on the top of that platform. To get it, you want to destroy this silver like objects. And gravel. And there you go. That's the second mini kit. Alright, the third mini kit. Is right in this little area, and we can't do this until you have C free PO for this. And then there you go. Get up in that room up, and there, grab it. There you go. That's the first mini kit. Okay, the fourth mini kit. You enter this room, take a left, and open this door up as R two D two. And there it is. Right there. So there you go. Alright, the fifth mini kit. You want to like right and activate this thing as C3PO. And then destroy this thing above. Um Oh there we go. Yeah. For some reason you're you're supposed to keep hitting it until it's destroyed. Yeah. For some reason you can't hit those. And there's also another way you can do it. If I'm correct. Switch to um, a wicket. Walk freeze little hatches. Then destroy that and open the store and all of it. This little thingy. And you just walk across here. And switch to a bunny hunter. Oh my gosh, it's locked here. So they chose first. Throw up some of the objects. And after that, you grab the mini kit, which I've already collected it. And yeah, that's the actual way you're supposed to get it. But there's a quicker way by just doing, just keep hitting that thing, and then you instantly grab it. That's just kind of an odd way to do it. But that's the, but those, but that's how you get the, that's how you get the fifth mini kit. So let's carry on, shall we? All right, the sixth mini kit. In this, you get to the next room. You can see that silver like object up here. And to get it, you just want to build this. And then blow that, make it blow up, and I'll break this little tunnel. And then go up here and grab it. So there you go. That's number six. Mini kit collected. All right, the same mini kit is in the room where you save a hard to detain C three PO, and it's right here. Destroy this thing as a lightsaber character, and then walk in this little tunnel. And at the end, I'll receive the mini kit. 
when you get to this little thing, this little elevator. So yeah, that's very simple and easy. All right, the eighth mini kit. Once we'll in this little room, you want to go right across here, and it's right in that little black cage. Switch to a um, Sif character. Break these two thingies, and that will make you. That'll let you break the the cage, so you can grab the mini kit. And there you go, that's the eight mini kit down. Two to go. Alright, the knife mini kit is right in this ram. To do that, you want to switch to a stormtrooper. Okay, looks like they will these enemies will attack. Uh, as a stormtrooper for some reason. Alright, anyways, after you open that, that will this little room so you can grab this little mini kit. So there you go. Alright, and finally at the last minute you get in this level, you want to grab a, well build this first. And then grab up here. But you can jump twice and there it is. And there you go guys, that is how you find all the mini kits in Jabba's Palace. So there you go. And we earn two gold bricks for this level. Yep, not me all that. Alright, we knocked another vehicle, which I don't know what's the name of it. Let me earn one for the Trajedi, one for the mini kit. So alright, there we go. That's all the mini kits collected in Java's Palace. Those weren't that difficult to find. Alright. Now for the next level is the Great Pit of Quirkan. So alright. Let's get those mini kits. You got your Jedi, so let's don't worry about it. Alright, the first mini kit in this level. You want to store these boxes and build three of these things. Alright. And this is a pretty easy mini kit to get. Alright. So, alright. Let's pull the lever. Spots on those two spots to build those things. Then you're going to need to use the force to build in where you said to build that home to be then. Alright, there we go. As you can see, it's really high up in the air. To do that is by using the force to build uh, platforms to reach to the mini kit. And there you go. First mini kit collected. The second mini kit is really easy. It's actually in this area. You just have to um, not fall. You want to just jump and get it and you die somehow. Unless you have a flying character, you can just glide back up. So, let's fly to get to safety. Alright, the fur mini kids in the area that we were able to explore before when we did the level itself. Normal. In story mode. By using the dark. And you need to set for this to build a platform to reach the other side of this thing and hey it's double scores down. And anyways the third mini kit is right in here. You want to pull these two levers and that will um okay if wait well um okay for some reason not working. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, that's right. You have to destroy it. That's right. I was wrong about that. Anyways, you want, you want to destroy that and then build build the mini kit. Just like that. There you go. Alright. The fourth mini kit. Um, it's not too far. Let's grab up here. 
And it's at the end of this. It's hard to see it from here, but... Um, hold up. If I, see if I can get closer. Um, there it is. Okay, it's right in there. And once you go for that little path where I was just at, but unfortunately it's blocked off by those little doors. So you're going to need to find the switches to open all three of them. First ones, they're all hidden. Well, well, two of them are activated by C3PO. That thing. Easy. And there's the second one. And the third one is actually a switch. I guess they decided to change that. Oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Uh, the th th that switch that opens up one of those little platforms. Back when we were doing this in story mode. Alright, uh, there's bro. You actually had to advance as R2D2. Uh, okay, my bad about that. I was wrong about that. Anyways, after that, let's grab the mini kit. And also, you're actually going to need a boy hunter to destroy these little silver lugger objects up ahead. It's kind of hard to see it. And, and there you go. That's the fourth mini kit. Alright, and before we do that, before we move on, let's um, activate that switch. Because I don't remember what it does. Oh, that's right, yeah. It um, opens up the second platform. So, Alright, moving on. Alright, the fifth mini kit is on the front side this time. So we got all the mini kits in this. So we got all the mini kits in this uh, back of this vehicle. Anyway, anyways, it's up here. We're going to a. Um, storm, uh, not storm trooper, uh, uh, Sith for this. So you're gonna need the police switches and then pull this lever. Probably do it before the switches, um, turns back off. Well, then I can get it. So anyways, that's another very easy one to get. Alright, the six mini kit is in this area. To do that, it's by switching to a character that crawl hatches. And then you'll have this little hidden room. And. So be the enemy so they don't get out of that way. It's really easy, you just have to grab. The, not grab them. Pull these two switches, and they'll receive the mini kit. For some reason, I just think that's kind of. That makes no sense. How can pulling switches make an object appear? Okay, I was a little nervous that I thought I was stuck there. It won't let me switch back. It won't let me crawl through these again for some reason on this side. Okay, next mini kit. Shall we? Alright, um, before we go on the next mini kit, um, here's a secret area. Um, you don't have to do this. This area, this hidden area that has no mini kits, all it has in here is studs. It's not, a, it's not a double score zone. All you do is just collect stats in here. That's just this is just a little rim if you want to get a bunch of studs. So here you go. Just want to shut this off so you'll if you never notice it. Yeah. All right, so let's um move on to the next mini kit for real this time. All right, the set mini kit. After you made that little dance party, um, break these, destroy these windows, and then build the mini kit. Because I'll, because I'll view the pieces for it after you destroy all the windows. Okay, another simple one to get. All right, the eighth mini kit. 
Want to destroy this. Grab all the way up here. And grab all up here, and there it is. So there you go, that's Minikit number 8 collected. Okay, the ninth Minikit. Um, is that the other side of the ship? Um, it's right here. Just switch the character that can crawl. In this little hidden area. And there you go, you got that's nine mini kits down, one to go. Alright, and the final mini kit is up in that little secret room. Actually actually no it's not. I'll show you where it is. It's right in, down here. Oh. Or just grab it like that. Okay, for some reason that was a weird glitch. That's not what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's actually not how you're supposed to get it. Okay, a weird glitch happened, but alright. Like the glitch, there was a glitch that actually helped me get it. Alright. Okay, what you're supposed to do is um, push this box. And then put it right here. Same thing for this one. Okay, and these enemies are getting annoying. They're just hitting us non-stop. Uh, here, wait a minute. There we go. I'm just really sick and tired of the enemies just hitting me non-stop. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one that you use. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think it doesn't matter which one you use. So I'm just gonna activate both of them. Alright, and then you want to get up there. Alright. Use the force on these ladders to make a bridge. Alright. So you do the same thing for this one, and then build it. You can try to use that as an, um, a jumping, a really high jump character, but he's this is, he's not going to jump high enough to reach up here. Alright, anyways. Want to get on this thing, and then shoot. Oh, that's right. Okay, you have to push start the beats here first to get some ammo. And then shoot. That thing. Okay, well, I could do that. You just get down to the little, to the little secret area and grab the mini cat. Alright, and then after that, you get the mini and, you, and after that, you got the last mini cat. Okay, I'm actually glad, get, I'm actually glad that glitch actually helped me because I actually didn't mean to hit the other one. Alright, anyways, hey, we just build a. Um, I just don't know what the name of that vehicle is. That thing where we were on in the in the in this level. Can we one gold brick one gold brick for the mini kit. So there we go. That's 115 mini kits collected. Okay. That's really odd. I glitched that. You grab the mini kit by doing the way you're not supposed to do it. Alright, that was helpful though. So I'll have to just do all that. But I did it anyways to just show it off. Alright, anyways, next level. It's time for the level that I had trouble just trying to grab mini grad studs for it. The Spear Showdown level. Alright, and there's quite a few of these. A lot of these makers aren't that hard to, to, to find. So let's get to it, shall we? Alright, and before we start the level, I'm going to get the first mini kit. And boom, there we go. We we got we got the true J in this level. Again, that level okay, I just wanna show this off because I I had to travel just trying to get grab stud grab studs when we were doing this on story mode. Cause that was just ridiculous. 
how they kept hitting us so many times. Oh, that just, that was driving me, that drive me crazy. Anyways, the first mini kit, actually the first six mini kits are located, are not too far back, far, far. They're right in the speed, the little speeder area. They're right in these little cages. There's six of them in total. You just have to, you just gotta have to just, I mean, every time you find these little buttons, um, run them all, run over, run on all of them. And then that lower the cage down so you can grab the mini kit. So just keep going until you have six in total. Alright. There we go, that's the fur one. The fourth one's right here. Um, I can grab it, thank you. Alright. The fifth one's right here. Um, wait, did I miss the button? Yeah, no mind. Oh, never mind. It's, it pulls up a ramp so you can grab it. You guys have to shoot to get it. Um, for some reason I'm having trouble getting. For some reason I'm having trouble just getting to it. Uh, ugh, I keep messing up. Okay, I don't remember ever having this much trouble just trying to get up there. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Why am I... Why am I... Having... Oh my goodness, I'm just... I just keep missing it. Yeah, I'm... I'm... It's not that hard to get. I don't know why I'm in trouble. Just... There we go, finally. Okay, finally. After so many tries, I finally got it. Anyways, the six mini kit is just on a cage, just right here, right where the fifth one is. All right, and at this point, you should have all the mini kits in the little speedster area. So now, I'll meet you guys in the next mini kit. All right, the first, um, sorry, the next mini kit in the area where you have to destroy the first one. You want to head over here? Pull up, let's destroy this first. Because, um, yeah, we destroyed the first one. So I'm trying to talk about. Get to this little platform and then destroy all these black um, bushes. Well, not all of them, just, just the ones right here. So you can, have, so you can crawl on this little, crawl up on that tree to this platform. Then go out across there, pull the switch, and now we'll lower the cage down so you can destroy it and then grab the mini cat. So there we go, that's the first one down. Seventh one down, sorry. Alright, the eighth mini kit is in the area where you have to destroy the second electric pole. That's what I'm gonna call this thing electric poles. Build this so you can get up here. Switch to a bony hunter. Destroy silver Lego objects. Um, oh, there we go. And then so you can use these boxes as stair as some stairs to reach this platform. Pull the switch. And uh, we'll alert the cage to grab this mini kit. There we go. That's 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 eight mini kits down. Two to go. Okay, the ninth mini kit. Um, where you destroy the third electric pole. Build this to get up to this platform. That's the canyon area, I should say. Destroy the silver like object, and then build this. Where you grab up there, move this thing platform right here so you can get up there. 
and then pull the pull the switch. Now we'll lower the cage down to grab the, this mini kit. This mini kit, and if I can grab it, thank you. All right, so that's nine mini kits down, one to go. All right, and the last mini kit in this level is in the second to last area of this level. Let's bring that silver cage, and so get it first. You want to. Well, he switches to open the elevator. So we get here. And I switch to a storm stormtrooper. I will lower it down the cage. Okay, almost like all these mini kids in this whole entire level are just in cages. That's kind of odd to me. They were probably out of ideas for this level, so they decided to spin them all in cages. And destroy that, and you get the mini cat. And just like that, we are done with the speed your showdown level. Alright, and there we go. We got the tree jet in this level. Thank goodness for that. And we, we got the mini kit version of Darth Vader's TIE Fire. So there we go. Mm -hmm, and that's two. Full bricks for us. All right, and we are 26 minutes in. Okay, I think in that level took took us not much time to do. So there we go. Now the next level is for flow, the Battle of Endor. All right, it's time for another long level. In this level, we did not get to tragedy. Am I right? Oh yeah, it's just these two levels. Just two levels, alright. Well, let's go get them, shall we? Alright, the first mini kit in this level. I want to destroy these purple boxes and build this. And then we'll move that platform upward straight. And then glide your glide out glide out through it. Um, well, there we go. And now open up the elevator. And then you grab this mini kit. So that's the first mini kit collected. Alright, the second mini kit is in here. Okay, let's say. I was thinking that glitch would happen again. Okay, what you just do is. Is, um. So I remember. Oh, yeah. Get on this elevator. Oh, not fall. And then you get to this platform. Pull the switch. Open up this little elevator upwards. And then make it go down. So you can grab it, wait for it to go up. Pull the switch. And then open up this little cage. So you can grab the mini kit. There you go. That's the second one collected. Alright, the third mini kit is up there, really high up in the air, that platform up there. Alright, so pull that, activate that, build this, and then, I'm not sure what that switch does, but, oh yeah, it's just part of it well. Once you move that platform around, so you can get to this platform up here to grab the mini kit. And voila, there you go. That's the first mini kit collected. Alright, the fourth mini kit, we can get down this little area. Destroy these purple boxes to build a grappler piece. And then, destroy that. And grab the mini kit that's hidden right behind this, those pieces of wood. So there you go. Alright, the fifth mini kit, it's right at the top of this stream. This river. It's right up to, uh, unfortunately, if you walk up here, you're gonna slide back down. So you're gonna need to find a way to um, get up there. Um, and this is pointless. You don't have to do this, but you can destroy these black bushes for studs. I just want to point that out. And what you're supposed to do. Um, hold on, let me examine these first. Okay. 
you want to get, build a a tractor and get on it and drive up the river and grab the mini kit. And yeah, yeah. So you get, so you have to build a vehicle to get to get it. And there we go. That's five minutes down. Five to go. All right. The next mini kit. Um, oh, sorry, number six. After you activate that, open this up this new area. Let's just throw all these bushes out of the way and crawl in here. This is platform. And then, and then um, glide across the gap, this gap to grab this mini kit on this random platform. So that's number six. So that's mini kit number six. All right, the set mini kit is right in this big area. To do that, you're gonna need a it's a two for this. All right, get on one. And then walk to oh um hold up, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, walk over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoops, wrong area. This is the wrong area. Oh. Okay. Um, what you're supposed to do is actually you don't need one. I'm I'm sorry, I was wrong. My mistake. What you're supposed to do is build this, and then push this thing around. Oh yeah, yeah, you do need. I was right. You just need to do this first. And then put it down here. Alright. Let's uh Okay, not fall off. And that grab ruler is pointless. Right there I just did. Alright. Do that. You want to okay? Let me switch, let me get up here. I don't know why they select so many characters for us. This is kind of too many characters, so I just spend time searching for them. Anyways, you want to grab a little, not grab a, glide, and then grab this mini kit right here. And there we go. That's some down, free to go. All right, the eighth mini kit. You're gonna need a, you're gonna need a T A T for the for real this time. All right, and then okay, grab one and just walk towards here. Or you can just um jump for it as a high jumping character. You can also do that too. All right, and then you're gonna need to okay. So you need to. Use the force on this to move this platform here. Quickly switch to a character can crawl hatches before the platform goes down. So yeah, be be fast for that one. And then move this platform around. So you can grab this mini kit right up here. So that's it. So that's how you get that one. All right. The next mini kit. Um. Go in this room right here. Destroy all of this. All right, and then once you use the force on these four things, and then they'll give you all the pieces to build a mini kit. So there you go. Oh, there we go. That's the next mini kit. And finally, the last mini kit in this level is etched in this area. So to admit this, admit this level fair, I should say. And then glide across the gap and switch to R2D2 again. Activate this thing. I'll open that so you can grab some pieces to build a hatch for small kids to crawl through. Because the mini kit is in this little secret area. 
As you grab over there, you just have to pull the switch. I'm sorry, no. That's not what you want to do. Um, my mistake about that. You want to glide across this gap. And grab it. There you go. And that is all the mini kits in Battle of Endor. And it's making that creepy noise in the background. If you can hear it. So there we go. Another little mini kit collect collected. And we built the ATs that we were driving on in this Fred's level. Some of these levels. Fred the game. And that's two mini kits. I'm sorry, gold bricks collected. All right, there we go. Now it's time for one of the best levels in the whole game. Time to get all the mini kits in one of the best levels in the game. And that is Jedi Destiny. So let's collect those 10 mini kits. And we got the tree Jedi already. It's the level where we where we fight the final boss of the game. Emperor Palpatine. Chancellor Palpatine, sorry. Alright, the first mini kit um, is easy to get. It's the force on this platform. And jump up to grab it. That's the first one down. Alright, the second mini kit, um, destroy these as a bony hunter. Like Dengar. Which, it, which the game randomly chose it, that's just scary for me. Alright, build this and grab up here and gear the, the mini cat. So that's two mini kits down, eight to go. Alright, the third mini kit is right here. And to grab it, you want to um, break this with a, as a Seth character, build it. I think, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, now that's not what you're supposed to do. Um, you're supposed to switch to a um, bunny hunter and, okay, these guys will work. Alright, that one, we have that platform down. Switch to a character can glide. Which the game that chose um, Boba Fett for us, so that's kind of dumb to me. Alright, that's the first mini kit. Alright, the fourth mini kit is in this little room. It only opens after you beat the second stage of this boss fight. And, okay, right here you want to push to a bone hunter and destroy these silver looker objects. If I am correct. Actually, no, you, no. I was wrong. We're not supposed to do that. And what you should do is press all these buttons and do it quickly because they won't stay on forever. Okay, I'm just gonna just restart that challenge because they. Okay. I'm having some trouble because this. Our playable character is just press them all again. Okay, this is this is getting kind of annoying. My other character, the other playable character, is stepping on them again. Oh, or, I'm, or am I wrong? I think one. Of, I think one of them. Yeah, because this. Yeah, because this button is just, um, it's just, it's not working, so maybe you're supposed to, I guess you're supposed to do that. Yeah, this is, this is getting, this is, this is a problem. He keeps stepping off the button I want him to press. 
Oh, come on. Really? Oh, my goodness. This is getting annoying. Yeah, this is taking a lot longer than I want it to be. Because my character keeps going in the wrong spot. And just stepping off the button. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is... This is, this is getting annoying. I don't know why it's not working. Step, stay on the button, you... Oh my goodness. What the heck? It's not that hard. I don't know what is going on, but my character is just not doing what is he, he's supposed to be doing. He just keeps stepping off the button. He won't stay, he won't stay on it. He just randomly stay. He just randomly gets off of it. Just he's an idiot. Quickly, come on! Press the freaking button. Okay, I'm gonna cut to where I get because this is getting annoying. Okay, I was doing it wrong. I had those silver things on this on the website I did destroyed before I did this challenge. Um, I actually have to do that because if you don't destroy one of them. It's going the randomly turn off when you step off of them. But when you stir it, now they stay on for a long period of time. Okay, so I was doing it wrong. I made a mistake. Because I did as I can remember how to get this mini kit. But alright. My mistake. My mistake, guys. Okay, now let's head to the next mini kit. Really, this time. Alright, the fifth mini kit. Once you activate this as a bunny hunter. Now, oh, now open up that secret area and use some pieces to activate the secret PO. And then I'll open up this little door so you can see the peak. You can build a mini kit. So, and there we go. That's the fifth mini kit collected. Alright, the sixth mini kit. And right next to this little area, I want to uh, destroy these silver Lego objects. And then, up in this little secret room for the mini kit. So there you go. Alright, the set mini kit, it's in a secret area, blur or not. To enter the secret area, I want to destroy all that. I'll make this uh, little hatch up here, out of nowhere. And push this box. And now we'll break some of those little bombs and just destroy them. And then there you go. Opens up the door. Alright, and here we are in, a, in this little secret area that we weren't able to get into before. And there's too many kits in here, believe it or not. I'm sorry. A lot. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Apparently there's three of them in here. Yeah, there's three of them. First one I'm going to get is right here. And to do that... Um, I think I'm right that... I hope I remember. Uh, I think you're supposed to destroy... Yeah, 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 destroy these... Step, these... Civil like objects. Pull the switch. And that will make the piece for our box will appear. And we want to push it right here. And then you want to destroy these chairs. And build a little switch. Make the um, box, and you notice there's an air on top of it. I want to put point to the right. Well, from from this angle, it's this point right. And push it right here. And then I'll make this elevator. All right, before you do that. In this little red arrow. Alright. Okay, um, okay, apparently I was wrong about that. Yeah, that's just for steads. 
All right. Ah, oh, man. And uh, I kind of fell. Okay, I'm having trouble just getting up there. Yeah, like that. I just don't know why I was having trouble just getting up there. And that switch was just pointless. That was just for just to disarm that. You won't get studs. Alright. I don't exactly remember what just do um yeah but I'm kinda forgot what you're supposed to do. Crap. That's a shame. Oh wait a minute, that's right. There's some other character you can do. Let's activate this, that's R2 D2. Oh okay. Turns out that actually disarms that. So there you go. This this is our seventh mini kit. So yay, we got that out of the way. Yeah, a lot of this we had to do a little exploring. And okay, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I'll be right back until I figure out how you should get these last two mini kits in this area. All right. Here's what you're supposed to do for this 8th mini kit I was trying to get. You want to do this first. Activate it. And there you go, it makes that, that little that platform go down. So now, here's what I've been trying to do. After you can finally pull that switch. I don't see why character base can't pull switches. Anyways, that'll disarm that force field and now you can grab this mini cat. So that's the eighth mini cat collected. All right, for the ninth mini cat, you want to get up here and destroy the silver look objects. So all right, and then you want to glide across here, build these. Build this. Okay, well, yeah. You're gonna need, you're gonna need to build the part of the um, hatch, and then as a sift carrier, put, finish building that for this little part. The, I don't know how to explain this part. This little piece, that flat piece. I don't know how to explain these. Anyways, um. Go through it, and then destroy this so this object. Ah, for some reason, it lets me destroy without as a silver like object. And that's not mini kit. All right, when you get to this um, platform up here. The last mini kit is right in here. Am I right? Yes, it's the last mini kit. All right, let's knock down them. Um, drop. See, so, yes, I just wanna, just wanna knock him down first, cause he's gonna, he's just gonna get in the way while you're trying to grab the mini kit. All right, sure, Sif. All right, and there we go. Destroy that, and as you can see, you need to activate all four of these. But as you see that there's no more there's something else to activate. And here is what you're supposed to do. Alright. There we go. Alright. To activate the other two. You want to to destroy the silver logo objects. Uh, this little secret room. For some that if they that they um the stormtrooper thingy, and now and now that just randomly summons some pieces for that silver thingy, my Bob. I just don't know how to explain these. Really hard to explain. All right. Anyways, um, and there's another, and some of the other 
one. You want to get up here that we did earlier in the level. Okay, and then I did fit all these red things. And we get a bunch of stitch for that. And then it summons some pieces for the C free PO at the vape thing. I'm sorry, Stormtroop. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Bunny Hunter. And that summons another piece for those light up thing. Alright, and there we go. Okay, not fall down. It's not what you want to do. And now let's head back up there. And and build it. All right. Mm, okay, I've got. This is a problem. My other character won't go back, get back up there. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. I can get him up there. Oh, there we go. All right. Now let's build these two. Built and now we'll disarm this little force field and grab this last mini kit. And there we go. This level is complete. Well, not 100% complete, yeah, but all the mini kits are collected in this level. Okay, that took us a long time to get all the mini kits in this level. So, all because that one mini kit, although that, that one little mistake I just made. So, wow, that was just that was a little embarrassing. I did right there. All right, and we, and we built the impersonal shuffle, shuttle, personal, sh impersonal shuttle or whatever it is, and that's our 120th minute Gilbert Gilbert collected. Wow, we got a lot of Gilbert so far for at this game. There is 40 left in the game. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, so that's it with the platform levels. So now we got one more level in our way in order to get the remaining mini kits. And, and we got one level left to go, and that is the final level of the game into the Death Star. And I just collected six mini kits on accident. My mistake about that, and I'm just gonna point out where they're all, all the ones I clipped on accident throughout this level. So let's get the, the last mini kits in the game. Second mini kit is right back here, and we did not close this one accident. So, all right, that turned out to be our seventh one. All right, the third mini kit, as I remember, is uh, like in the middle of the area, right somewhere right here. Um, let me fly towards it. Oh yeah, yeah. This is actually when I clicked on accident. It's just right here. I destroyed it already before I came here. So all right, there we go. The fourth mini kit, and right in here in this little secret area, you're gonna need a tie fire in order to get it. For some reason, I'm having trouble getting in there. There we go. So there we go. Alright, the fifth mini kit is really hidden. Just go back here. And there it is. See you for that. Alright, the sixth mini kit is right at some point in this area. Oh, there it is. Right. It's not a tie fire hit area. Oh my goodness, can I get in there and grab the mini kit? I don't know why it's not letting me. Alright, now I know it says 10 out of 10, so we got them all, so 
The last, I'm very close on accident, but I'm gonna point them out. Just, just let you know where it is. All right, the seventh mini kit is just in this area. And, oh yeah, there it is. It's just right over here. So that's a uh, pretty easy one to find. All right, and finally, I repeat, finally, the last three minute kits in the entire game is during this chase part of the level. And uh, I don't think there's, it's necessary for me to show them off, but it's, you just gotta have to shoot shit until you get it. Because I actually never mess them. I can't really tell where they're located, so I'm just gonna just say, just keep shitting until you find them. If you watch the, if you watch the episode where I complete the story mode to this level, you'll actually see where they are. So that's all I have to say. Explain to this look, those last three minute kits. And we're just gonna end the level right here. And there we go, mini mayhem, earn achievement. Collect all the mini kits in the entire game. All 360 mini kits has been collected. We did it, guys. We collected every mini kit in the entire game. There we go. All mini kits collected. All mini kits built. Oh, oh, it's gonna say that right now. And we just want the slave one. All right. And we win, and we win a gold brick for that. Do for the Trije and the mini kit, I should say. All right, there we go. We just unlocked a new vehicle. Yep, that's and that's your reward for getting every mini kit collected. You unlock the vehicle for all that. And let me check some. Is that right? Oh yeah, there's only one vehicle that's still locked. Whatever that vehicle is, we'll lock it sometime soon. So now let's head back to the main area of the hub world and let's slow fire our progress after collecting so many mini kits. Wow. Yeah, we are sitting eight point seven percent done with the game and we are 24 hours, 1 minute, and 43.80 seconds in. Wow. It's taking us a full day to get this far for the game. Alright, guys. So that's going to do with this episode, guys. And before we before I leave, if I'm correct. Yeah. That's not the only thing we unlock for getting on every minute. Okay, we also unlock this. This little room. Let's see what's in here. Alright, and there's 20 gold bricks in here also. You unlock. Bony Hunter missions. Yes. There's Bony Hunter missions in this in this game. And, and that's pretty interesting. And we will be doing this in the next episode. So, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace out. See you guys later. Alligators. Goodbye, everyone.